Hi, I'm Vanessa, and welcome to Words by Vanessa. Today, I had the most amazing experience. I, was, I had an early meeting at my son's group home. As many of you know, my son and I live in the country of Sweden. So he's 21 years old, he's autistic, and he lives in his own apartment where, where, where he has full 24-7 staff. I mean, it's like the Ritz-Carlton. It is incredible. They take care of all of his needs and they help and assist him in every way possible. And the reason why today was such an exciting day, because in his group home where he lives, there are three apartments and one of them um, came up for rent. And he lives like, if you say one, two, three on one side of the building, he lives in one, there's someone in two and three is empty. So now they're gonna be moving him to apartment number three. And the reason why is because they're completely renovating the entire apartment. They are extending out the um, deck. So he has a fantastic big deck. They're using this soft kind of cement that's kind of gushy so he doesn't hurt himself if he falls. They have bought him a ginormous swing. There's a sail that's going to go on the back to protect him from some, some exposure and he can still go out during the late spring, summer, and early fall days and enjoy being outside and having some fresh, amazing air. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because we came around, he has a fantastic manager for, for his group home and he really thinks about what is the best thing in an environment for each individual person? So today, not only were we talking about his uh, physical means and intellectual um, involvement, but we were also talking about harmony and how color really affects your environment. Have you ever thought about that in your everyday life? Of course, we know about product um products and advertising and how uh, commercials can really entice us to buy or get us frustrated or have us experience all different kinds of emotions. But have you ever thought about color in reference to your home and how it affects your mood, how it affects your stress levels or anxiety or your, your calmness and your sense of purity and harmony in your environment? I mean, really, did you ever think about this? There are some incredible studies that were done. I read a great article in Psychology Today, and I'll put a link below, and it's about color and how it really influences a person's mental and physical state. Studies have shown that people looking at the color red resulted in increased heart rate, and it led to a pump and a dump of adrenaline within the blood system. Now, all of us know what adrenaline does for you. So imagine my sitting in my fantastic red couch how that could affect some people. For me, it makes me super happy, but for other people, it could arouse um, feelings of fear or anger. Also, there are psychological effects that relate to two main characteristics or categories when it comes to warm or cold. Now, warm colors are typically red, yellow, and orange. They, they promote comfort and warmth, but they can also bring out hostility and anger. Colors such as green, blue, or purple, purple, often spark um, calmness as well as sadness. The color that I chose for Zachary's bedroom is blue. Now blue brings about calmness and serenity, and it's a perfect color to put into his bedroom. I did not choose blue for his activity area, or his kitchen, or his family area, because as we know, colors have two different meanings or bring about two different types of emotion within you. So although in the bedroom it would enhance calmness and serenity, it can also bring about the feeling of coldness or uncaring or unappetizing. Now, blue in the kitchen would be horrific for our autistic children because we all know how they are. They're already finicky enough as it is when it comes to eating food. The last thing we wanna do is put a fantastic blue color in their kitchen and thinking that it's gonna benefit them for calmness and serenity, but in, it's gonna work in reverse because in actuality, what it's gonna do is make food more unappetizing and God knows we don't need that, right? So now you know why I've been so excited about the fantastic meeting we had today. And you know, one of the reasons is we got to choose color to really harmonize my son's environment. And blue, specifically in his bedroom, is definitely gonna bring about calmness and serenity so he can have a peaceful night's sleep. Below I will also 
um, add in a link to this fantastic color chart that I learned from psychology today so that you yourself can review it and see how best to choose colors for your own home or office environment and how to best link up how um, to promote wellness and positivity in your environment. So I'm going to go through a couple of them and I'm going to give you the, the, what enhances and what perhaps you want to minimize. So green promotes harmony and wisdom, comfort, health, safety. It brings about a sense of nature. It can also bring about laziness. So that's not something you want to put in an activity room for your children. Purple, for example, brings about magic and coolness, spirituality, truth, a sense of royalty. It can also promote conflict, anxiety, and passiveness. Did never, I never thought about these things. Yellow is my favorite color and it promotes brightness and intuition and warmth and creativity and spontaneity. I love it so very much. It also promotes it can also bring about, actually, instead of promoting, let's, let's talk and bring about, um, uncertainty, it, a lot of energy and alertness. So maybe that's not a good color to put in a bedroom for a small child or medium child with autism. Feeling me? Orange, of course, is charisma and it's laughter and it promotes ambition. It can also promote or bring about a sense of warning and domination and excitement. So where would you want to place that color in your house? And also red, red, my couch, I like red. Red is one of my top three colors. So red brings about charm and friendship and love and passion. It can also bring about rebellion, aggression, anger, and tension. I hope that my experience today with my son and his group home was something interesting and something that makes you think about where you are in, um, with your children and how you bring them up and what you do with them. Because at some point in our lives, if we are fortunate enough to be able for our children to not live with us, or if they do live with us and they have uh, a caregiver that's going to be there to help and assist us in our care for our children, or to be able to live in an assisted living facility or in a group home. It's so very important, everything that we do each and every day to be able to teach our children to be happy, healthy, and vibrant human beings where they're independent, they're self-reliant, and they can be, um, be able to be part of society in some way. So everything that we do with our children every day really promotes this, and I truly believe in it. I hope that talking about colors and how it enhances emotions and how it brings about um, either warmth or coolness depending on what we're wearing, what we're seeing, or even product and advertising and marketing. I mean, they have the PhDs in that. You can look it up for yourself. But I really thought the last couple of weeks doing the research on how to best set up my son's apartment with um, his staff and the architects and um, Ted from Dalham, who's ensuring that Jackie has the best environment possible so that he can have the best quality of life. I hope you liked it. It was good seeing you. Check me out every Thursday and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.